Hello, my name is Vu. I'm a sixth grader and I'm currently studying at Hanoi Amsterdam School. I have a desire to become a specialist about Vietnam's nature and the future, especially about Vietnam's seas. So today, I'll talk to you about the seas of Vietnam's resources and the environment of it, which is also the 14th target to develop sustainable of the United Nations in Vietnam. So, as you might know, the seas in Vietnam are suffering from many outer invasions. A particular example of this is trash. Trash, if thrown into the sea, can cause blockage and problems to the digestion if consumed by underwater animals. Even worse, a big group of trash can heavily pollute a part of the water and kill herds of fish. Apart from this, another noticeable thing is the unidentified things that factories throw into the ocean. These could be anything, but as far as I know, these things are killing the life of the sea. This will lead to fishermen losing their job or becoming unsuccessful because they can't catch any fish or the fish they sell are at low quality or it is just not fresh. Apart from sea life, Lots of people are using sea resources recklessly. For example, lots of species are being caught to serve as food. But some people leave over lots of leftovers, which will eventually turn into waste. And lots of companies, tourists, are illegally cutting blocks of coral just to bring home for souvenirs, just for their fun. And those are just some things to start with. Who knows how many ways the seas of Vietnam are being destroyed now. Seeing this, lots of people have stood up and made communities and groups to shout out to the government to urge more forces in order to protect the sea. There are many assemblies that are willing to clean up ponds and lakes every day for free. But this is still not enough. No matter how strict the rules are, there are still some people who try to get through the rules. And if this continues, Vietnam seas will be heavily polluted and we will no longer have naturistic sites and tourist attractions and we might even not have any fresh seafood anymore. So in order to fix this, I think it is necessary for everyone to raise their awareness of the actions that we are doing today that might have impact on the sea. I myself come from a coastline city, so every time I go to the beach, I try my best to pick up some trash. But if I'm the only person doing that, I can't do anything. But together, we could build more trash bins on the beach, we could set up more signs telling people not to litter, we could use sea resources more carefully, and we could strictly follow the public rules in public places in order to keep the sea clean. A clean sea begins from our actions, so let's together clean the sea and protect it for the, our next generations to enjoy too.